Katherine Johnson, and I started performing with the Shane Center way back in 2001, when it was originally still known as the Firehouse Five. And my very first show was Treasure Island. And what got me into theater was actually my older brother, Matt. And he was performing about a year before I was, and I saw one of his shows. And it was the coolest thing ever. I can't remember if it was Alice in Wonderland or Pirates of Penzance, but it was one of those two. <laughs> and, um, but it, both of those shows were amazing, and um, seeing my brother perform made me really want to do it. And so the next year, our parents signed us both up for the Young Actors Workshop camp, and I caught the theater bug, obviously, and I've been performing ever since, and it's changed me into the person I am today. And it's because of that reason that the Shane Center is so important to me because it's the place where I found out the person I wanted to be and the friends that I made that are pretty much members of my family. And the Shane Center itself has become a home away from home for me. And I remember every single day when I was in school, I, I would always want to go over there and help out. And it didn't matter if it was, you know, doing anything with rehearsals if I was in a show or if I just wanted to help out with the construction of the set or the costumes or the tech or, you know, whatever needed to be done, I wanted to be a part of it. And that's one of the coolest things, I think, about that place is that, you know, no matter what, there's always something there for somebody, regardless of your interests, you know, and um, it's a place that's so accepting and welcoming for anyone and anyone who's interested. And that's what I think makes it so important to the community is because it takes a community like Livingston's to, to make everything happen in the Shane Center. You know, it's, it's not just one person, it, it's, it's the collective, you know, and it, 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 you need more than just <laughs> actors and dancers and performers and musicians, you, you need the tech and you need an audience of course to come and see what's being created and what the, everyone's been working so hard to share with people and it's the audience is equally as important as all the cast and crew and that's why I feel like uh, the, Sh the Shane Center represents everything that's so wonderful about the community of Livingston and Park County and is that it shows everyone coming together in the small town to create as well as cherish something that is so unique to them and so cherished and loved. And I can only think of really like one, well there's so many to really think of, but there's one memory that sticks out in my mind that where this uh, really sticks, uh, sticks out and that's the opening night of Cats because it was more than just um, the opening night of a show, but the opening night of the Shane Center itself. And everyone, it seemed like, from the community came to see it because at first it was just an idea, you know, that came out in that summer before and um, where they wanted to take the firehouse, which is a really small theater, and turn it into this really giant art center. And so they renovated the East Side School and everyone that whole year came out to, to help with renovating it. And there was people coming to help with the construction and the paint and just moving stuff from the, the firehouse to the East Side School. And then when Cats was getting underway, you know, they had all the rehearsals and there were still things with the, the power and the heating. And so all these things had to fall into place to, to really make this night happen and to really just say, you know, that to make it, make it work. And I remember that night, you know, everything just kind of clicked and solidified. And the show was ready to go, and the building was ready to go, and everyone came to see it and see all of their hard work because it wasn't just one person. It, it took the whole community to be involved to make such a feat happen. And it did. <laughs> and that is so cool. Be in it. Everyone, I believe, was just blown away by it. I know I was, and and it was so cool just to say, you know, like we were all a part of that, and it's a memory that I think that we'll all hold with us and continue to share because it trickles down into 
you know, all the shows that came after Cats and all the shows that will still continue to happen. And so that, that sense of belonging and sharing and just experiencing this wonderful place and all it has to offer with each other and knowing that it, it takes all of us together to really make all those possibilities come into fruition. That is so cool and so awesome and it's just truly something magical that we can all be a part of. I would like to take this moment just to thank Russ and Erica and Dewey and Matt and Justin and all the board of directors and the volunteers and every single person in the community because it really does take all of us together to really make this amazing place be so wonderful and impactful as it has been, not only for me, but for everybody. And so thank you because it's not a place that makes all this happen, but the people who believe in it.